When it comes to fiber, we make distinctions between insoluble and soluble fiber, two major categories. When it comes to the insoluble fiber, it's magical. It's magical for weight management. And here are some of the ideas. When you have a diet that's high in insoluble fiber, it provides more bulk, more roughage to the diet, and it actually dilutes the caloric density of food. For instance, when you have a food that is high in bulk, you can eat more food, but it has fewer calories, which means you can actually eat more and you can weigh less. I mean, that's uh, the magic, isn't it? I mean, people enjoy food, and these people usually begin to show it after a while. But when you eat food that is high in fiber, you can eat more, and you develop a satiety. You feel full, and you don't have to worry about all the calories that come with this. And so here's then the magic. If you want to eat more food, choose foods that are high in fiber. And what are these foods? Remember, <laughs> animal products, meat, dairy and eggs have no fiber. Fiber is only found in plant foods. So if you move towards increasing your consumption of plant foods, you will have more fiber, you will have more roughage, you can eat more bark, you feel full, you feel satisfied. And when that happens, on the inside of the stomach lining, there are some special sensors. When you're full, these sensors are being activated and they send a message to the brain, to the apostat that says, hey, I'm full and the appetite begins to decrease and you have taken care of the drive of eating more and more and more. And this is a very, very sophisticated shutdown, a shutoff valve of uh, the appetite. So high fiber foods, magical. They provide you with fullness, satiety, and your appetite begins to decline at that time. So when you have a diet that is high in dietary fiber, you're not only having a very effective way in managing your weight, you no longer have to worry about semi-starvation diets. You no longer have to eat less and less and less. No, you can eat more food, just what you enjoy doing. And yet, because of the dilution of the caloric density, you are beginning to lose weight. You're beginning to eat for health rather than for the scale. And when you eat for health, you make lifestyle changes. You move towards foods that are found in the plant food kingdom. And you eat less of the foods that are found in the animal kingdom and the refined foods because these foods don't have the dietary fiber that you want. But it's not just the fact that you have a very powerful and helpful beneficial tool in eating more high fiber foods, but you also will do something else. You will find relief, precious relief, from a common Western dis-ease called constipation. Yeah, we don't talk about that too freely. We just sort of suffer through it silently. But here's a very, very effective way to take care of constipation. Burkett realized that in England, I mean, constipation was all the craze. And then he came to America and he said in some of these medical lectures, he said, America is constipated from coast to coast. And we're prescribing laxative and laxative. And the answer might just be in eating more foods that are high in fiber, particularly the insoluble fiber, and perhaps some rehydration. Drinking your five, six, seven, eight glasses of water. This will help you more than probably anything else in taking care of this common dis-ease. What was found ultimately was the idea that insoluble fiber, because it has this water holding capacity, it's like a sponge that holds onto the water, the food that goes through the system goes through the system in a fast forward fashion. And the transit time becomes much, much shortened. So the food goes through the system in 24 hours, it comes out moist, and there's no problem. Constipation resolves itself easily. So here are some of the hard facts. It's common in Western society. It's probably related to industrialization. It's uh, also related to the intake of insufficient insoluble fiber. And the hard facts then are, it's difficult to move food through the system in an elegant, easy fashion if you're lacking insoluble fiber. Now, there's something else we should think about, and that is soft results. Yeah, soft results. When you have enough fiber in your system, evacuation is very easy. The food is being put on fast forward, the passage, of food goes very easily 
and you feel greatly relieved, you're doing it every day, once a day. And usually these are big bowel movements. In contrast to people that are following a very fiber deficient diet. I have seen in some of the nursing homes older patients and I saw on a big calendar there was a red mark once a week and so I was curious and I said did something happen on this particular day when you had the red mark? Oh this lady said yes sir it really did. This is my weekly bowel movement. It's great relief when it happens and I usually mark it on my calendar and I thought to myself, if these people would only increase their fiber content and drink more water, probably they would have one of these red marks almost every day and it would be a great relief for these people. Where do you find fiber? Where do you find insoluble fiber? Well, it's found, as I mentioned to you earlier, only in plant foods, for instance, an apple has four grams of fiber. You have raspberries or any kind of berry is fairly high in fiber and you have about five, six grams of fiber. And then you have beans, excellent source of dietary fiber. You have beans that are from eight to 15 grams of fiber. For instance, a cup of lentils, cooked lentils, has 15 grams of fiber. That's more than most Americans have in the whole food supply for the whole day. You see, most of us in America have to kind of settle for 10 to 12 at the very most 15 grams of fiber in their diet. Well, people in Africa would have 40 to 50 grams and even more than that. So maybe we should have perhaps an increase in the dietary fiber. Perhaps we should at least aim for 35 grams. Once you have 35 grams of fiber, you have all kinds of benefits, particularly in the area of, we talked about constipation, weight management, and there are many, many others.